a breakthrough for scientists after they had a 20 minute conversation with a humpback whale. A team of scientists set out to do the impossible, create a two-way translator to talk with whales. Using artificial intelligence and a massive network of underwater microphones, they finally started translating the clicks and calls of these ocean giants. This is a little how their conversation went. They were hoping to unlock the secrets of their society, but the secrets they uncovered were incredibly grim. The AI didn't just decode a language, it decoded a collective trauma. The whales are talking about something terrible that's happening in their world, and the message is so heartbreakingly clear that it presents a massive ethical problem for us all. The Leviathan's Lexicon For as long as we've sailed the seas, the sounds of whales have been a source of wonder and mystery. It's funny when you think about it, Yee, for hundreds of years, people heard these incredible complex songs and just chalked them up to weird ocean noises. It wasn't until the 1970s when an album called Songs of the Humpback Whale became a surprise hit that the world really started to listen. That album kicked off a massive global movement to save whales from being hunted into oblivion. But even then, while we were fighting to protect them, we had almost no clue what they were actually saying. We could record their moans and groans, but understanding them? That was pure science fiction. Early researchers spent thousands of hours just listening, guessing that maybe the sounds were for mating or warning others of danger. They were grabbing at straws, limited by the sheer amount of noise and the fact that our human ears and brains just aren't built to process it all. That's where the story takes a wild turn. Enter Dr. David Gruber, a marine biologist who had a crazy out-of-the-box idea. He looked at the scientists at SETI, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, who spend their lives listening for alien signals from space. Dr. Gruber thought, what if we've been aiming our telescopes in the wrong direction? What if the intelligent, non-human life we've been looking for has been right here all along, swimming in our own oceans? This wasn't just a passing thought. It became the foundation for one of the most ambitious projects in modern science. Project SETI, the Cetacean Translation Initiative. Get this. The goal wasn't just to listen. The plan was to create a full-on two-way dialogue with another species. To do this, Dr. Gruber assembled a dream team of experts you wouldn't normally see in the same room, marine biologists, AI specialists, linguists, and even roboticists. One of the key players was Shane Giro, a biologist who had spent over a decade with the same family of sperm whales off the coast of the Caribbean island of Dominica. He knew these whales by name. He'd watch them grow up. His intimate on the ground knowledge was the human heart of the project. But to crack the code, they needed more than heart. They needed a technological brain. Here's the kicker. Around 2019, the technology for artificial intelligence and underwater recording finally got good enough to make this sci-fi dream a reality. The team officially launched Project SETI in 2020 with a massive $33 million boost from the TED Audacious project. Their first order of business was to build something straight out of a spy movie, a 12 mile by 12 mile underwater listening studio in the deep waters off Dominica. This location was perfect. The volcanic island has waters that drop off steeply, allowing these deep diving sperm whales to live surprisingly close to shore. The tech they deployed was mind blowing. They dropped arrays of hydrophones, super sensitive underwater microphones onto the ocean floor. This grid of sensors could not only hear every click, but could also pinpoint exactly which whale was making the sound but just hearing them wasn't enough. They needed context. So they sent in a fleet of robots. 
These autonomous drones were designed to gently attach non-invasive suction cup tags to the whale's backs. These tags were packed with sensors recording audio, the whale's depth, its movements, and even its social interactions. Was it talking while hunting giant squid thousands of feet down, or was it socializing with family near the surface? All this data was absolutely critical. All of this effort was to collect one thing, a mountain of data. We're not talking about a few hours of recordings. Project City is on track to collect billions of whale vocalizations. This massive library is the fuel for the AI. Machine learning models learn by example, and the more examples you give them, the smarter they get. All the previous attempts to understand whales failed because they were like trying to learn English by only hearing a dozen words. Project City was aiming to record the entire dictionary, and then some. But even with all this incredible technology listening in, the data was just a wall of sound. The AI found hiding in that noise was the first clue to their secret language, a language of loss. To a human, the raw audio from the ocean floor is just a chaotic mess of clicks and whistles against the background hum of the sea. The first major hurdle for the Project SETI team was to make sense of this noise. They fed the audio into the AI, which transformed the sounds into visual patterns called spectrograms. Suddenly, the invisible sound waves became pictures the computer could see. The AI's first job was to act as a bouncer, filtering out all the background noise and identifying the specific sequences of clicks that sperm whales use to communicate. These click patterns are called codas. This step alone was a huge breakthrough, turning a sea of noise into a collection of potential words. This is where the real magic began. The team used advanced deep learning models, the same kind of AI that powers language translation apps. But instead of teaching the AI rules, they just let it analyze millions of these codas on its own. The AI started to recognize patterns that no human ever could. It found tiny variations in rhythm, tempo, and what scientists call ornamentation, extra little clicks at the beginning or end of a coda. Turns out the sperm whale language is incredibly complex. It's a bit like a phonetic alphabet. They combine basic elements like rhythm and tempo in countless ways to create a massive vocabulary. For instance, a simple coda with a steady rhythm might mean one thing, but if a whale speeds it up or adds an extra click, the meaning could change completely, just like the difference between cat and cast. This discovery shattered the long-held belief that only humans have truly complex, structured language. Whales weren't just making simple calls. They were using a sophisticated system with syntax and rules. But as the AI got smarter, a deeply unsettling picture began to emerge. The scientists had expected to translate messages about finding food, avoiding predators, or navigating. But that's not what the whales were spending most of their time talking about. The dominant themes that the AI started flagging were far more emotional. The patterns in the language were overwhelmingly linked to social context, identity, and most disturbingly, disruption. Here's the heartbreaking part. The AI found that different family groups or clans have their own unique dialects, much like human accents. A whale's dialect signals who it is and where it belongs. But the AI started detecting a strange and sad phenomenon. It identified codas that were essentially eulogies. Whales were observed repeating the specific dialect coda of another whale that had recently disappeared, often for days or weeks after it was gone. They were, in effect, calling out a name with no answer communicating a sense of loss to the rest of the family. The data showed these morning rituals were becoming more and more frequent. Even more troubling, the AI began to decipher codas that directly correlated with the presence of human-made noise. When large container ships passed by, creating a deafening roar underwater that can travel for hundreds of miles, 
The whale's communication would change. Their codas became more frantic, simpler, and louder, almost like they were shouting to be heard over the noise. The AI translated these patterns as expressions of agitation and stress. They were essentially talking about the constant, painful noise that was invading their home. Their world, which is supposed to be defined by sound, was being drowned out. The AI didn't just translate words, it translated a worldview. And what it revealed was a culture under siege, a society grappling with loss, and a constant struggle against an invisible, deafening force. They were telling a story, but we still didn't understand the ending. When the ocean spoke back. Armed with this new, heartbreaking dictionary of whale language, the team at Project SETI moved on to the next, even more mind-boggling phase, talking back. The goal shifted from just listening to actually engaging. They wanted to build what is essentially an underwater chat bot to have a real-time conversation with a whale. This isn't about teaching them English. It's about using the codas and syntax the AI discovered to craft messages in their own language. In 2023, they had their first major success. A researcher used a specialized underwater speaker to play back a specific greeting coda that was common in the local whale population. And something incredible happened. A nearby whale responded, repeating the exact same coda back. Back and forth exchange, like saying hello and hearing hello back. But its importance was massive. It was the first ever intentional human whale conversation in their native tongue. It proved their understanding of the language was accurate enough to work. This tiny interaction opened a door that was once sealed shut. We were no longer just observers of another species, we were potential participants in their society. But this raises a huge and difficult question. Just because we can talk to them, should we? Let's be real for a second. What does this all mean, not just for scientists, but for all of us? We've now learned that these animals have deep family bonds, cultural identities, and that they are actively communicating their stress and their grief. We're not just eavesdropping on simple animals. We are listening to the sorrowful history of a highly intelligent society. It forces you to wonder, what is our responsibility now that we know? It's one thing to know in an abstract way that ship noise is bad for whales. It's another thing entirely to translate a message that says, the noise is hurting us, we can't find our family. The thing is, this technology is like opening Pandora's box. Some scientists on the project are very concerned about the ethics. Could our attempts to communicate disrupt their social structures? Could we accidentally say the wrong thing and cause panic? Or worse, what if we can't offer them any real help? What if their messages become a constant plea to stop the noise? to stop the pollution that harms their food sources, and we, as a civilization, fail to respond. The burden of that knowledge is immense. We might have just become aware of a problem we don't have the collective will to solve. It feels like this all happened overnight. One minute we're marveling at whale songs and the next we're staring at translations that paint us as the villains in their story. There's no easy answer here. It's a powerful new connection, but it's also a heavy one. And get this, some of the theories about what they're saying go even deeper. What if their codas aren't just about recent losses, but contain an entire oral history, a sorrowful epic passed down through generations, chronicling how their world became louder, emptier, and more toxic? Another more chilling theory is that it's a conscious warning Maybe these creatures with senses we can't even imagine are detecting catastrophic changes in the ocean's health, shifts in currents or chemistry that signal a much bigger problem for the whole planet. What if their sadness is a warning to us? We set out looking for intelligence in the universe and we found it. But it came with a message we might not have been ready to hear. The whales have been talking for millions of years now we're finally listening and we have to decide what to do with what they've told us. This research has given us a window into another mind, but it also holds up a mirror. 
What does it say about us if we hear their sorrow and do nothing? Like and subscribe for more.